Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast hosted by two bestest of best pals, one of them being Peter James Jonathan Joseph Wicks. Who's having a bit of a moment at the minute because I just ate a cheese toasty really quick and I'm out of breath. <laughs> and we just walked up some stairs as well. Carry on. And the derby came out a little bit early as well, so Peter's having a bit of a moment. This, can, this episode is going to be containing some swearing, adult themes and the occasional consumption of alcohol. If you don't like it, go f- or stick around, though. We would like you to stick around if that's okay. Now, remember, as well as listening, you can watch us now, too. The full video is released on YouTube every Friday after the audio is out every single Monday. Now, we've got a bonus episode out every Thursday in audio and every Sunday on YouTube. The episode, that is all about you, the listener, our community. So that, that, means, sorry, that means... So that means that you can catch us every... Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Beautiful. Now, before we get started, make sure to hit follow wherever you're listening or watching. That's going to mean you can be the first to know of each episode. And you can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Snappy C. Right. We are going to crack on um, because there's a lot to discuss today. There's so much. So, normally we do like an opening conversation bit, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go into staying relevant moments because Sam has got one of my favourite ones ever. Sam went to a pea farm. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I Who was that? I cannot believe that got a woo. Thank I you, Abby. Believe. Obviously, we've got a big pea fan here. Yeah. Um, what the fuck? I actually got sent a. Uh, I did a job with Bird's Eye, actually. Bird's Eye, you can know the word. Bird's Eye, that's, that's not. Are, are birds are not fish fingers. Yeah, yeah they do it all. Because yeah. someone called, once told me I was like Captain Bird's Eye. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Army hearties. But I will say this. After going to that pea farm, I have a lot of respect for pea farmers. I will I say that. I there was such a thing as a pea farm. Oh, mate, you would have no idea. So, listen no, to I this. No, I literally don't. Okay, well, you're, gonna, you're about to find out. Fabulous. So, so th- from, from the moment they harvest them, they have two and a half hours to get them to the factory and frozen. They have two and a half hours. And if they don't, don't pretend you're falling asleep. This is really interesting. And if they don't get it there, then they're off. Oh, no. Yeah. So most peas, most pea farmers with other brands of peas, most of them don't care. But the two and a half hour mark is the mark that they stay the sweetest they can possibly be. So if they don't do it in two and a half hours, then basically they can't use the peas? Exactly, mate. God, that would I'd be so peed off. Yeah, so this is the point. So basically everyone's on the walkie-talkies going, guys, we've, got, we've only got another hour to go. We've got to get into the factory. It's really intense. Oh, God, yeah, no, it sounds it. Yeah. Uh, I rode a combine harvester. I, this is the bit I wanted to get to. Um... Because I've seen your driving. We've discussed your driving multiple times. Well, interestingly, you should say that, Pete. Because one at one point, I may have been veering off course, and the guy who was sat next to me had to grab the wheel oh, God. and pull it back. Wow. I was going into the hedge. You're going into the hedge. Wonderful. But also, another big moment for you this week, you finished... Love Island. I did. I finished Love Island. We are done for another year. Really enjoyed it this year, actually. This year was really, really good. Really what, good. What was your favourite part? My favourite part was I feel like your favourite part was that you finally cracked Maya. <laughs> I think that was, we are that mates was, now. The, the, yeah, yeah, that was... that was. I like the way it. you've seen it. So actually, this is quite a good talking point. So we've actually spoken about this very briefly on my birthday episode. But uh, Pete came out to uh, to After Sun to surprise me on our final one. It was actually for a really nice cause as well. I think mm. it was for Bring Get Talking, wasn't it? Yeah. It was about where they like, you know, friends come together and speak and they were like, you know, we'll bring Pete out. And I had no idea. I literally had... Zero. So when Pete pulled off this mask and he was him, you know when you don't know how to act, you're like, shit, we're on live TV and I actually don't know what to do. And so I just sort of like stood there. But after the entire afternoon was done, uh, Pete went, ah, so nice to finally meet you, Mom. I was like, lovely to finally meet you, Pete. I've heard a lot about you. And and, and I think Pete now agrees that me and Myra are mates. I, uh, yeah, I agree that you, you know each other. No, friends. We are friends. I mean, you do know each other. Yeah, we spoke. You work together and you have spoken. Yeah. People have seen it on camera. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say friends. I would. Um, one thing I will say about Maya is her mum is fucking unbelievably good looking. She is beautiful. My God. But we are friends, I'm going to be honest with you. And Pete's seen it in the flesh, baby. Um, She's going to come on the pub. Yeah, apparently so. Um, that was a lovely day, though. I'm yeah, so happy you came. It was nice to see you at work. What was it like to see me in my in my element? 
Yeah, it was it was interesting. What I love about that is that I went to the final after sun, so that was in Mallorca. So I had to fly all the way there um, and then sit in a fucking cave for five hours, basically. Um, then get changed to Portaloo, go and do the, the fucking telly thing. And there was not a live audience. And you're in Milk and I thought, God, fucking how, how have they got these people? I then found out that what they do is they go down Magaluf Strip, ask anyone if they like Love Island, then pack them all in a minibus, take them to the fucking thing <laughs> and then take them back to the strip. <laughs> That's literally what happens. I was like, oh, well, these people flown out for this. Now we just picked them up on the strip. <laughs> That's, That's so basically jokes. what they do. Um, which I is- love that. I think it's so... Do you know what? One of my favourite moments is Pete sitting there going, so, like, when do they all start coming out? And I went... I thought it was the final. You thought we were there for the final. <laughs> Well, I couldn't understand it. Um, you went, I thought Love Island was, was, was like, I thought the final was like a sort of a bigger deal. And I went, yeah, this is after some, mate. It's the final after. And he went, so this isn't even the final. <laughs> I was like, no. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Completely pointless for me. <laughs> Completely and utterly pointless. No one even watches the after some bit, do they? They do. We get big figures, actually. Do you? Oh, yeah. God, well, that is good, then. We do. You get big figures. Sorry yeah. about that. You. Uh, a bit territorial over it, but... Uh, uh, my favourite part of it was just India and Dammy, though, because I love them both. Fuck off. I had some good opinions. But Dammy and India, love them. They are very, very nice. Very good. He's he's absolutely fucking jokes. I really like him. So that was After Sun. What have I done this week? So I finished my audiobook. <laughs> One day early. So I... Thank you. I did it in two days rather than three because it was depressing me. So, um, so, so, so I finished it earlier and just cracked through, worked through lunch just to get it done because it was the hottest day of the year and I was sat in a fucking studio like a coffin with no fucking air con because you can't have it because of yeah. the, the, the fucking noise. noise. And it was and I cried. You cried? Yeah. Because of the heat or because of the book? I, 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 it was a mixture. Wow. Mixture of two things. Do you, so do you think, oh my God, so when people are listening to the audiobook, are they going to know the bit you're crying? Yeah, you, there's a cracked voice. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's all done. So that's another thing ticked off. So make sure you go and buy the audiobook and all that. Other than that, we've not really done fuck all. Well, that's a complete fucking lie. We have so much to talk about. We've done all the all the sort of boring shit first. We've done like, Basically, well, Sam just wanted to get all of that out of the way so that he can discuss one thing. Yeah, yeah. Why, why wouldn't you want to discuss it? We're obviously going to talk about Strictly. This is fucking it. It's game day. We're in. We're doing it. We're ha- it's happening. Uh, a lot of wheeze in that. I'm doing nothing. But... I was going to say, I can't wait to see Sam on the dance floor. <laughs> um, yes, it, yes it. it's true. I am, I'm, I'm doing Strictly. Let, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not going to pretend and play it down, okay? We're going to talk about this like it what it is. The biggest show ever that you are on. It's I And I quote the papers, t- Pete Wicks gets biggest ever TV break. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's literally what they said. Yeah, Pete Wicks, after being 10 years in the business, gets TV break. No, that's that's so literally good. what they called it. It's so good. Yeah, has anyone ever watched Entourage where Johnny Drama finally goes and wins the Grammy? No one's seen it. Nope. Uh, he goes, has no one ever seen it? He goes, victory at the end. Yeah. He's yeah. cracked it. He's cracked the BBC, baby. <laughs> Come on. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's fucking wild. This Is it, week, has it been wild? Do you know what? It's been a couple of months of... I, I told you about this a couple of months ago, didn't I? Mm. And uh, I said, look, you know, what do you think? And Sam was like, you have to do it. You ha- when I say Sam has called me almost every day to find out <laughs> if there's an answer, um, you literally have... <laughs> And <laughs> what, but what Sam does is, mate, this would be so good for us. I did. <laughs> literally. I did. I literally did, because we come as a pair. Um, yeah, then Sam started getting excited about coming to rehearsals. Um, he's also booked himself. You only get two tickets per show. <laughs> I'm coming to everyone. <laughs> so, so the first night's my mum and Sam. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? It's the last thing I think anyone would ever think that I would do. I've never thought about doing it. I've never really watched Strictly. Right, OK, so... We are talking about this before it's come out. Pete doesn't know who his dance partner is no, yet. I don't know who the dance partner is. I don't know any. What's happened so far is that I, um, and I can talk about this now, which is good. I did like a taster. Yeah. So you do like a taster today where I had to um, see how I got on for an hour with, with one of the pros. Who was the pro? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh, okay, fine. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I went because I was semi-forced to go. Yeah. 
by my management and Sam and anyone else that just is just obsessed with Strictly. And I did the taster and I fucking loved it. As, as we knew you would, though. As I, we knew you would. I genuinely. It. Yeah, 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 what's your favourite one then? Well, we we did like very brief bits, and I don't know the names of them. I can barely speak English, let alone fucking. You say you say the word pasta doble a lot. Yeah, pasta doble or whatever it so is. So no, 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 you know, don't fucking be playing it down again. Pasta In... doble. Exactly. Is what is that? What is the pasta doble? I, I, I'll be honest with you, Sam. I've done one taste today for an hour, and I can't remember. Okay, fine, fine. But there is something else you've done. Is there outfits? Okay, and then we all then then you also see like the the costume team, um, and they discuss. This is the my favourite bit. And they discuss like what you like wearing, what you're comfortable in, and you know how far you'd like to go with it. Um, and I spoke to my management beforehand, and they said to me, "In for a penny, in for a pound." Yeah, I would agree. I would fully agree. So I went in and uh, and said, "In for a penny, in for a pound," and the the costume lady was like, "We're gonna go, we're gonna have some fun." And I instantly regretted saying in for a penny, in for a pound. I am fucking petrified. In for a penny, down a monkey. Uh, eh? 500 quid. No, no, I understood, but I just uh, don't understand. Well, you get 500 quid's worth. That's how big they're going. What? I don't know. I'm panicked okay. now. Um, uh, Are we talking sequins? I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I mean, the problem... I, I honestly don't know. You're getting flustered. Why are you getting I'm, flustered? I, I'm flustered by this whole fucking thing. I'm, so I'm flustered excited. by the whole thing because it's a fucking massive show and it's a, like, do you know what I mean? It's an institution really st uh, strictly, isn't it? This is the 20th year. It's the big one, mate. It's the anniversary. The anniversary fucking. And you're on it. Yes! Um, and... Um, flares? Oh, I'd like a flare though. Yeah, but brilliant. Yeah, so, um, so we're getting bejeweled flares, I think. I don't know. I don't know. And it's chest week, showing. We're definitely, because you've got chest showing now. Each week is going to be fucking different. But yeah, I, I've basically gone wild with it. And effectively, so I'm due to go and meet who, whoever I'm going to be dancing with next week. That worries me. Why? Why? Tell me why. Well, because, like, who? I, I mean, you're going to spend a lot of time with this person. But obviously, that's going to be fucking intense for me for the next couple of you've months. You've got to like them, right? So you've got to fucking get on with them. Yeah, and that's my problem, isn't it? What, you're an unlikable bloke. Well, yeah, I don't like a lot of people. That is such a good point, because you'll like, be spending so I, long. What if I fucking can't stand them? What if they can't stand you? What if they can't stand me? That's more than likely, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you, in for a penny, in for a pound, Pete, to be wearing backless chaps at one point. You know, there's, you know, there's, you know, there's sort of like biker trousers, those leather biker trousers, which just has arse cheek out on each I'm side. I'm not sure BBC's up for arse cheek, Pete. A backless chat, Pete, would be flipping brilliant, but... Yeah, there's just so many fit like I, you know me, like you, you know, I don't really, um, I don't really worry about a lot of things, do I? I don't really get nervous. Are you nervous? You fucking, I'm shitting. Ah, oh, he's shitting it. The first time in fucking ten years of TV, I'm shitting it. Do you know why? It's because there's a Absolutely. talent. It's a talent. It's fucking talent, and I have none. Firstly, oh, I don't know. Secondly, it's obviously such a big show that so many people are going to watch. But they're, they're the people that don't know me. Mm. Like, oh the yeah, audience is so different. They're going to fucking hate. No, me. no, no, no. Right? The beauty of Strictly is that you don't actually show that much personality. So luckily, you're just a good-looking guy. Do you know what I mean? Like that. Like that's good. Because I know what you're going to say. I okay. By the way, mark this as already said. Pete's first dance. Breathing heavily. I thought you were going to say Pete's first out. <laughs> Pete's... <yeah. laughs> Mark this. <laughs> he's gone. So Pete's first dance, he's breathing very heavily, he's sweating all over the gaff, and he's going, it's the best thing I've ever done in my life, and he's going to go, and I couldn't have done it without my partner. They always say the same... Please try and say something original. <laughs> okay, so the difference being is, obviously, you know me very well. I will be doing this as me. Yeah, please do. Everything I've ever done in TV, I've done as me, and, and as much as... Um, I respect the 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 show and the dance and all yeah. the rest of it. I've just never really thought about doing it because I'm not a dancer. I'm, I, I don't. I've never. Da I don't, I've never even danced at a wedding. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you try. Like the only times I've danced is doing stupid TikToks yeah. with you and when I get me cock out on Full Monty, and that was mostly just thrusting. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I'm I'm petrified of f I, to the point where someone asked me the other day I was doing a press thing and they were like, "What are you most scared of?" Is being first out? Well, I mean, no one wants to be. No, no I get pressure past, on you, mate. If but... I get past the first week, then it's a win. You know, no. How you said, no, no. You know where you said when you did the jungle. Listen, if I can get cyclone, then yeah, I've won. Yeah. If I can get through one week, then I've won. <laughs> like genuinely, if I can get through one week, I've won. Can I tell you why I you need to get to? 
I'm putting a, I'm putting I'm putting it out here now. I, right? mate, but I can't. Be... I don't care. This is where I expect you to get. I won mine. Okay. Oh so no! So this is that's not fair. I'm expecting you, Peter oh, James fuck. Wicks, to get to Bright Blackpool. You need no, to get to Blackpool. When that's that's it's late. Quite, it's quite late down the line. You've got no chance. It's, it's, it's only about three weeks away from all you had to do was annoy Tony Belly. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, and that was just saying that you enjoyed all Blackpool. Right. Blackpool is where you have to get to. I, mate, I, I, honestly, I'd be surprised if I make it out. I, I, again, I can call this now. You're going to get obsessed, right? Oh, I get obsessed with everything. I yeah, already know I will. Because I've seen you on TikTok dances. So eventually, you actually really want to get it right. Not to freak you out, but like even one of our producers who's not here today, actually, but she and, and, and millions of people who obviously aren't in the stadium, right? Or in the theatre or whatever the fuck Stadium? Is. Yeah. God, it's getting worse. Even, even, so all of these people, a lot of people have like and this is something like they never have the jungle and stuff like that they have like strictly watch parties right where where a lot is normally like slightly older women will like get together and they will sit in their living room and all they get like Shanit round and Janet and Shanit Shanit and name Sharon and Janet and Gertrude and they all come round right and they basically all watching it and then they have little whiteboards and they mark and they mark how people do I'm not joking they yeah, take producer it, Chaz does this they take it fucking seriously so right? I I also told my my series producer for the dog show, and she was so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a different like, level of excitement. Me and the family watch every week, right? And uh, I've had so many people that have said the same thing, like, oh, my God, it's my fucking favourite show. I watch every week. The whole family watch it. Because it's a family show, isn't it? And it is so fucking big. And then, so I when I told my mum, <laughs> Tracy laughed in my face and went... <laughs> Laughed. So I went. So I'm, I'm going to do strictly mum. She literally spent about thirty seconds laughing and went, "No, you're fucking not." That was her response. What did she say when you actually convinced? Her? I went, "No, I'm genuinely doing." It. And she went, "Oh, don't fuck it up." <laughs> That's literally what my mum said. Um, do you know what's wild? You've been there. The live shows. Right, I can't tell you because when you're watching it on TV, it looks different. You are so close to the to the fans, to the to the audience, right? Oh, yeah. Like we are on top of you. We saw Adam Thomas; he was the first one out. If you imagine Sam and I here, he was there. He was right next to us to the home. We heard him before he, the first the first dance. He was the first person to dance of that series. First right? series, first dance. First series, first dance. He stood there, and who's he with? Who's he with? He was with Lu uh, Luba. Luba, and Luba goes, "Are you ready?" And he goes, and "You see me." He was so panicking, he goes, I forgot what the fuck I'm doing. And you, can, <laughs> and you can hear him say that. You are that close to the dancers. But this is what the problem is. Like, I, I, We're in you. But I can't, I really can't dance. Well, mate, uh, yeah. And but, but 10 million viewers a night. Yeah. 10 fucking million hell. people a night are watching you struggle and thrust your way <laughs> to Blackpool Beach. God, I'm going to fall over. Quite jokes though. Gemma Collins did that. Are we buying like Pete Wicks merch? Like, what do you want me to wear? How are we no, doing? I this? wouldn't go too high on the merch, mate, because I, 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 I think it might be, might be dead stock after week one. So. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, um, but weirdly enough, I quite like the fact that I'm nervous. Mate, of course, it makes you feel alive. As sad as that sounds, like because I don't really get nervous about nothing. This is so far out of my comfort zone or anything that I would have ever thought that I would do, yeah. that being petrified is a bit of a new feeling for yeah, me. Yeah. And I don't really know what to do with it. Well, I can help you through that because I'm permanently petrified. Like, so. even when I'm on fucking phone calls, and like at the time of recording this, I've not even had my first day yet. Um, when is your first day? But when this goes out, I would have had my first day. Oh, God! Um, to the point where, like, I, I genuinely on the phone the other day, I, I'm starting to, I'm doing it now, stuttering. Like, because I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. <gasps> God, and when I they interview you, the you afterwards, you're going to be like, oh, I don't know what to do. But what you will get from me is honesty. That's not a good thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, we mean, don't want that. What I mean by no, that. No, we need you to lie. No, no, but but that's the problem is like, and I think that's it, is a lot of people absolutely love the show and have always wanted to do it and whatever else. And I'm not one of them people. But start with that. <laughs> you know, I never no, wanted no, no. to do this show. No, but it's the truth. And I, like I, I've said that, it's not something that has ever been, I've never been like, God, I'd love to do Strictly. I'd love to do Strictly. I've, I've, it, I, it's never been in my head to fucking do it mm. until you kind of get the call and then you go, hmm. 
also seeing the show live and how fucking big it is and what goes into it, you're kind of like, fuck, do you remember I sat there with you and I went, fucking hell, this is, I didn't think it was this fucking big. Do you know what one of the biggest <laughs> things of it is, is that it's the, the um, what am I trying to say, Pete, the set changes. The set changes are out of this world. It's, the bands, the set, like just everything. There's so many people. Okay, what so song do you want to, oh, what song do you want to perform to? There's so much that goes into it. So I've never, I've never been that person that's been like, it's been a dream of mine. But then when I got the call and I was like, oh, fuck it. And then when I went and did the, the, the taster and everything else and the fur I'm getting, I'm absolutely shitting it. Yeah, be weird if you didn't. But madly excited. Yeah, but as you should be, right? Because I'm getting to an age now. 38. Well, you don't really, you kind of become a bit set and stagnant in what you do. Mm. You do the same fucking things all the time. Yeah. You kind of think this is who I am, this is what I'm doing. And this is uh, as far out, this is the riskiest thing and the most out of Pete mm. body experience yeah. I'm ever going to have. Yeah. And I am dreading it, but can't fucking wait. So what song are we starting with? Well, so I don't know. What do you want? I don't what do even, you want? I don't even know my part. You love country. Well, I, th so they do. <laughs> so they do ask you for like, you know, what sort of music do you, do you like and all that sort of stuff. Beaver. Um, and mine was like, well, I, I don't think my music's really going to go because it's sort of like cheesy 80s rock and country. Um, but I don't know. But the band's fucking amazing. But yeah. I want cool songs. Are you going to come in on a Harley at some point, obviously? But I, I, mate, I, mate, I, literally, I literally can't tell you anything. You're going to be the heartthrob. Oh, I very much doubt that. You're going to be the heartthrob. So at this point that we're talking about this, I still don't know who else is doing it. Like, I've got no idea who else is doing it. <gasps> oh, also, because we didn't have this in the jungle, because you go and you live with all of these people. They are your competition. So you're, yeah, they are, though. Yeah, but do you know what? For me, I'm my competition. Yeah, that's all well no, and no, good. No. But you're going to look at them and be like, shit, you're good. <laughs> Yeah, but some, the, listen, people are going to be miles better than me, but it doesn't really matter. I've got a real issue with fucking failure. <laughs> good and thing I, he's never danced before. That's a good start. Um, only if I don't do as well as I could do. Yeah. Does that make sense? If Absolutely. you come out and you're like, fuck, could have done better. I'll fuck that. Yeah. I'll be fucking raging. You will be. Haunt me. Yeah. But if I just like, look, I, I just can't do what them people mm. are doing. I'm fucking fine with that. Right, how about this? Okay, let me give you a scenario. I'm just going to throw this out there at you. So. Okay, what? No, 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 give okay. me a sec. All right. Give me a sec. Um, what's the bad, the mean guy called? Craig. Craig Revel Hall. Oh. Right, so, Craig Revel Hall. You think you've done quite I well. that's his name. Craig Oh, Craig Revel Horwood, right? I always thought it was Hall. Craig Revel Horwood, right, has gone, and you think you've done well. You think you smashed them steps. And he's gone, fall. And you're like, what the fuck? And he goes, I just think that you're a little bit shit and your footwork's a bit shit and I don't really like what you're wearing, right? What are you turning around and saying? Because I know what the real people turn around and say. What are you turning around and saying? Well, it depends if he's right or not. Yeah, but what if you think you've done well? Well, the problem is, is that I'm on the BBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Respectfully, I disagree. I mean, I don't know, because I, I, I feel like I take criticism better than you. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah, I feel like you would struggle more. I cry. Yeah, like I feel like it would get you down more. Yeah. Whereas I don't really give a monkeys if I feel like I've done all right. And really what would happen is I would just, just go, yeah, whatever. And then speak to someone that I know, even if they're not dancers, and go, is that right? And if they went, yeah, I'll go, sweet, that'll do for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite good with that. Stuff. I want to hear I don't give a monkeys. That's what I want to hear. Uh, uh, there's a fair chance. I really want to hear people, that. That is, again, going to be a bit of an issue for me. <laughs> I want to see you getting agitated. That is going to be a bit of an issue for me. <laughs> but I don't know what, like, at the minute, because at the time of recording this, I know nothing. I literally yeah. know nothing about what's, who's doing it, who I'm with, what's going to be happening, how it's all going to work. Um, it's like, um, it's just full of like excitement to just, I just want to get on with it. I want to start it. <gasps> Fuck me, man. This is so big. It's almost really surreal. It's really surreal sitting here and talking to you about this because I know you as Pete Wicks, just fucking my boy. I think everyone else does as well. But as in like Peter, James, fucking Jonathan, Joseph. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and I feel like you're about to become Strictly's Peter James. You know? Sorry, have we taken wicks off because my dance name is just without the wicks? Which I don't know. I just, feel, I just feel, and, I, and I'm never wrong with this, right? And I hope you 
agree with this. I have a feeling that you are going to absolutely smash the granny out of it, right? And I think I genuinely believe. I can tell you now, you're wrong. I genuinely believe you're going to smash the granny out of it, and not just that. I think you're going to be a fan favorite. I'm putting it out there. I think he's going to be a fucking fan favorite. And if he's not, you need to have a good hard look at yourself, listener, because he's a fan favorite. Basically, I'm going to do this before we start and beg the people that listen to this podcast to please vote for me. Please. Because I cannot be first out. We, could, we don't, cannot be you're first You're not going to be first out. Oh, my God. I'll, no, it'll be some shit imagine, news reader or something. imagine having to come back to this fucking podcast with the king of the jungle and then go, yeah, it didn't go that well. <laughs> it wasn't that great, was it? Um... So, yeah, please fucking vote for me for, for the love of God. Wait, mate, I'm going to be doing I'll do videos. I'm going to do marketing campaigns. <laughs> mate, I'm going to literally... Sam's my strictly campaign manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is honestly like the presidential election. Like, this is going to be fucking huge. I just want to let everyone know as well, don't worry, the podcast, you, the listener, are going to be coming with us on the journey. But, yeah, it's going to be a fucking... God, I can't wait. We should get your mum on the pod. Fuck, there's so much we should do. Oh, my God. We should get your mum on the pod. We should get your dance part on the pod. We should probably try and get uh, fucking Tess Daly on the pod, to be honest with you. Who's the other one? One with the really cool hair. Claudia Winkleman. Claudia Winkleman. We should get her on. V Winkleman? Yeah, it's... it's Claudia it's, Winkleman. I swear that's a silent V, isn't it? Or like a W? No, it's a W. Yeah, but with, with that, you pronounce it with a V. No, you pronounce it with a W. Winkleman. No, it's Winkleman. <laughs> it is. It's Claudia Winkleman. No, it's Winkleman. It's just Winkle Man. Winkle Voss. Think of what you call your penis and then put man at the end. Winkle Man. There's Wink. not. A, it's not a Winkle. All right, fine. Cla so Cla we should get Claudia Winkleman on the on the podcast. Yeah, and test the daily. <laughs> and test daily. Craig Revel Horwood. Um, listen, I I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's oh, going to be a bit of a fucking. I want you to do street, and I want you to wear a cap like this. And I want you to do some proper body popping and shit. Yeah, it's called Strictly Come Dancing, not Step Up. Mate, dude, you can absolutely can. Jamie Lang did Step Up. I um yeah I mean like we, we'll do another catch up with this once I have met my partner and 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 all the other stuff. Okay, right. So we don't know who your partner is yet. We you don't. have been to have some costumes fitted. No, 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 no. Costumes haven't been fitted. You just go for have like a chat. That. You've had a chat. Yeah, we've had a, a styling session. We had a styling. You you love that. Um, I did. I, I think she was quite surprised about how what what you wanted. Yeah, cowboy boots. I, it's, well, no, because you can't dance in cowboy boots. But like cowboy-ish boots that are dancing. No, it, it, it depends on the themes, doesn't it? There's different themes. Fireman! You should so be a sexy fireman. What is this? Fireman? Yeah. Why would I be a sexy fireman? I don't know. Just like, hey, miss, I'm here to save your gaff. Cat? Yeah, cat. <laughs> here, I'm here to save your gaff. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I've got a big old hose. I'm going to save your gaff. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a porno. Yeah. Oh my god, you are Halloween week! Oh, you oh, I'm not a getting that far, am I? Oh my god, Peter's a werewolf. Well, the problem with the oh. Halloween week, <laughs> problem with Halloween week is also my birthday. <gasps> the chances of me being out. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. Pretty fucking. Give me one of these. I'm Peter. <laughs> okay, have you ever seen? This? We don't talk. Yeah, fine. Okay. Just dance. You do at the end though. So right, you've just done the last spin. <laughs> That's how you finish it. <laughs> just give me one. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 come on. Oh, I can't wait for this. It's going to be the best time ever. I, I mean, uh, this conversation has made me feel <laughs> even more nervous about this whole Give thing. us a little two-step or a pas I can't even two-step. Give us a little Texas Holden. Sam, Sam, I'm sweating. You are, you're really thinking. wringing your hands. I'm literally sweating even thinking about it. <laughs> you can do a little fucking jig for us. Do a number. No, I, Sam, no. I'll do it with you. N no. That's all it is, isn't it? <laughs> That's all it is, isn't it? Mate, oh, do you know what else I'm worried about? Go, yeah, go on. I love it. I'm obviously 36. I haven't been to a gym in eight years. My worry is about the smoking. <laughs> yeah, it's the funny. lungs, mate. Yeah, but it's also like the, the like throwing someone around like a rag doll and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so, actually saying that, I do you that. You throw me you. around a lot, I was just yeah. about to say, to be fair, I do that Should a lot. Should we do one now? Do you actually, wanna... over the years, you've probably been quite good practice. Do you want to do a lift now? We can do that one between the legs. No, 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 no. I'll go. You gotta hold me from the waist, and I'll go like that. No, because we've never done that before, and we're gonna clatter everything. No, we're not. We'll be fine. Sam, you know when we do this, we might as well try. Sam, you're literally gonna be doing it in a few weeks. Yes, with a trained dancer, not a fucking Backstreet Bellend with his hat on the side. Backstreet Bellend. Well, you look ridiculous, and also, yeah, I'm an athlete now. I can't get injured. 
Oh, that's a good point. That takes me out of some of your TikToks. No, it doesn't. Oh, fuck. What a fucking great point. Sorry, well, mate, got, let's just make sure... You, coming up. Let's make sure you don't do what you did on SAS, right, and break a rib or anything like that. Let's Three just, ribs. Yeah, let's just make sure that you actually get through broken bones... Well, sorry, mended bones. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, my ribs are still broken, which is going to be a pain. I just feel like I need to get in here. No, sit. I don't know. Don't, I do. I feel like no, I need Sam, to get in. Sam, Sam, we're trying to call, please, mate, because we've still got to finish this fucking episode. I just feel really good about this. Okay, good. I feel so good. Can you hear us both? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, there you go. Yeah, she said yes. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Reba. Okay, you've made this weird now. Can you go sit over there? Okay. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh. God, do you know what I fucking love? Another I, problem that I have, as was probably well illustrated there, is I don't really like to be touched. Well, you're fucked there, mate. <laughs> Can I tell you what I love as well? I really, really enjoy the fact that, like, I have no issues. I can just go and watch. And you know when someone's like... You know when someone's so nervous and you look at them and go, God, I wish I... The worst That's thing that can now. happen is that I, I go there on the first day having tried to remember this dance, never really danced at all like in front of what is it fucking 10 million people 10 million people on a on a small night and sam will be in the front row just before i do it <laughs> and i feel like all that's going to happen is my whole head is going to go oh god and i'm going to forget <laughs> i hope to god i do not catch eyes with you <laughs> because i at that point i'll go no, nah, I'm done here. <laughs> oh, my God, I hope I catch eyes of you. Can you ima- oh, my God, I can't wait. I'm going to catch eyes, right? I'm just going to look at you really, really, like, just seriously, I'm just going and then, And then one little grin, <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to whisper, don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Like, this would just be fucking horrendous. Um, so, yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen, but oh. weirdly for me, uh, which is very unlike me, I am um, I'm actually really excited and I just want to get on. Mate, now. aren't we? So are we all. We cannot wait. As a community, we are all behind you. I feel a bit sorry for whoever my partner is because you know what I'm like. I'm a bit of a control freak. You are. You're going to start telling her how to judge. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Whoa is her, actually. <laughs> Fucking hell. Do you know what? I actually might have to take her for a drink and just talk her through you a bit. We might even have to... I might have to take her for dinner and be like, look, I'm just going to let you know. He's going to start by being like, I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. I don't really know. What, I don't really care. And then, like, an hour in, he's going to literally be taking over and be like, no, no, it's <laughs> left foot. It's the left leg first. And she's going to be like, I'm a trained fucking dancer. No, it just looks better left leg. You're such a control freak. But also, I I have an issue that with with the fact that I, um, I, I I like to get things right. So I know I know what people God. say when they do these things is you can practice as much as you want, yeah. and that is probably the worst thing you could say to someone like me because I will have that poor girl there for fifteen hours a day. I know. Literally, I'm like, well, we can just sleep here. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Don't you worry about it. You don't need to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm because, not going home. Because the fear of getting something wrong on TV or fucking up, it, I, I, literally. I've it, never seen... You can probably hear it on the mics. Peter's going like this. Yeah. On his cards. So, yeah, anyway, so... No, come on. We, I feel like we've just... We've ended that on a really sort of, like, sketchy moment. No, let's bring it back up. Pete, if you're doing fucking straight come dancing, it's the best thing ever. You're going to smash it. You might be nervous, but you're nervous for the right reasons. It'd be weird if you weren't nervous. You're going to be a sex god on there as well. You're going to be the sexiest man that anyone's fucking seen. You're going to wear those beautiful little fucking sequin trousers with your butt just poking out, and you're just going to have, like... How are we going to hide the bullet? Re- well, that's a good point, but I think people are quite like that. And then bejeweled everywhere. Your chest is going to be hanging out. Mate, you're going to smash it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so proud of you. And if you do well, I do well. So, you know, you're doing it for the both of us. So, yeah, catch me on Strictly from September. On BBC One. BBC One? Oh, God. I know. On Beeb, on the Beeb. BBC One. 
you're then going to do the one show and, you're, and I'm probably going to have to come in at some point and, you know, do that with you. Well, I don't think I don't think the one show have Dosh, man. I imagine... <laughs> <laughs> so, so I imagine on the one show it's called Pound Man. I can't wait. I can't S wait. Do you know what I really... Sterling boy. Pete goes... Pete smashes Strictly, right? And he goes for a meeting with the big dogs at the BBC. Right. Very unlikely. How do we utilise Pete as a talent for the BBC? And they open the door... Send him back to Channel 4. And they, they, they open the door, right? And Pete walks in and behind him is me. Hello, it, sir. Hello, miss. Lovely to see you. We come as like, a pair. It'd be like that interview in Step Brothers. Yeah. Did you just fart? Pan, pan, yeah. pan. Yeah. I think I, I can help this. you with the uh, with the pan, pen kind of vibes. God, I just did a fucking movie reference. You Fuck did. Fuck me. You did. I've become that guy. Oh, did you fart? Tastes like ketchup. Oh wow. Anyway, so yeah, that was that. That's kind of my thoughts and feelings in it. For the first time in ten years of doing TV, I am nervous and I love it. Pete Wicks is doing Strictly! And I'll tell you what, I, you know what I'm like, Pete, with podcasts, I get really aggressive, right? Not aggressive. I get very, I get very territorial. So like, if anyone gives you lip, Right? Anyone, you know what it's no, like. No, no, no. I Sam, have Sam, podcast Sam, wars Sam, with people. Sam, 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 Sam. We had a problem with Red Handed. Sam. We had no, a problem with Jack no, no, Mate no, no, as well. No. And we I'll tell didn't. you something, mate. We didn't. I'll tell you something. If someone gives you eyes, send me in. Now I have a fear for him coming to the show because if... I'm going to walk past him like you, shit. Inevitably, if I get told that I am not very good, I've just got the fear that the king of the jungle is going to stand up wearing probably a T-shirt with my face on. Yeah, it's going to have a cat. Actually. That's my mate. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. You sit down, Craig Revel Hall. Would. Would. <laughs> You sit down, mate. But genuinely, that would really piss me off. I'll get really annoyed if people are starting being mean to you. Do you think people are going to be mean to me? Well, I don't know. Well, just, they will about the dance. Yeah, but I don't know. But I just don't like. I don't like competition. You know, I don't like it. Oh god! I'm going to be on this podcast just slagging the other dancers off. I can tell. I'm going to be there. Go, well, they were shit. I don't know. Their form was terrible. Their feet were football was awful. Pete was amazing after he fell over four <laughs> times. <laughs> and got dragged across the floor by his you, partner. You know those mums who just think their kids can do no wrong. <laughs> oh, it's going to be... Do you know what my mum reminded me of the other day? Actually, here's a little exclusive for you. When I say I haven't danced before. Dance to your mum? No. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a bit weird. My mum sent me to a ballroom dance class once. Sorry, what? At what age? And how are you telling us at the end of the podcast? Because I've just remembered the this. fuck? Because she found a picture. I was four. And I went... Did you um, wear a tiara? No, and, but I had like a little suit on uh, in a fucking class. And um, apparently I walked in and went, nah, not for me, and walked back out again. Oh, shut apparently up, Apparently my mum took me. They made me try and do some stuff with some fucking, like, the, the people, and I literally went, nah, I'm done here, and walked halfway, <laughs> halfway through the class. Guess, not a good start. That's how strictly he's going to be as well. He's going to walk and go, not, nah, good not for me. Start. But also, why on earth, I said to my mum, why, why, why would you sit? And she went, well, there was just what, they were doing, like, these classes in the area, and I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> so she just trotted me along to a fucking dance class, and apparently I walked out. So that doesn't, my experience of dance so far has not been great. We're Fingers relevant. crossed. We're relevant. You're about to become immensely relevant. You're gonna do red carpets of all of the, you know, when you, oh, I'm gonna interview you at Pride of Britain. Sam, Sam, no you're not, because we are hosting the carpets Doesn't matter, together. yeah, but you're still gonna have to do an you interview with You can't host me. Yeah, yeah, you can. No, you can't. You you're can't gonna have to walk the red carpet, you're gonna have to host with I'm me. I'm not, because I'm gonna be hosting And it. then run down the red carpet and walk up the carpet with your fucking dance partner. You are actually gonna have to do this, this is a thing they do, right? And then not I'm gonna be hosting it. With Jude McClure. <laughs> we've not, what's don't, her name? Don't, don't, is her name's McCourt? McCourt. <laughs> I'm gonna be stood there with Jude McCourt and we're literally gonna be both be there like, so, Peter, how does it feel to be on street? Strictly. Right, so <laughs> NTAs and Pride of Britain, which are the two um, red carpets. NTAs as well! <laughs> which are the two carpets coming up this year. We're hosting them. So I'm not going to be interviewed, Thank, thankfully. You're going to have to. No, Sam. They always do We'll it. be interviewing them. And I'll be like, so, how has Strictly been? If I'm just going to turn around and then push you into them, be like, so, Pete, if you wouldn't mind explaining to us. You can't, the host cannot be interviewed. Oh, I will. No, I'm taking my... Oh, my God, I can't wait! No, 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 no. That's, oh like, that's like asking the teacher to do the exam. Is it, what, what are you doing? <laughs> to please don't do that in the studio. That's my excitement. Yeah, don't do that at Strictly. I'm going to literally be like, Pete, I'm going to have you tattooed onto my belly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
Sam, Sam is actually more excited um, than I think I... I think you're more excited about this than when you did the jungle. It's just because I have no pressure. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and I can win. Do you know what I mean? Like, I might win from this too. And so this is perfect. We're both doing Strictly, but one of us is actually just being the sort of like the, the pack mule, you know? <laughs> Dragging the other one up the hill. Put it this way, it's like we're on Everest, right? And, and I, we need to get to the top. I've broken my leg. So Pete's just dragging me behind him whilst climbing up that mountain. Yeah, Sam's already been to the top of the mountain. <laughs> He's come down King a of bit. the Jungle and fallen a little bit further down and then was taken back up. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. how he broke his leg because he was celebrating the jungle too much. There's so, down a couple of hundred foot. so much content ideas are coming to me right now. Honestly, get out my head, get out my head. Well, anyway, I think that's it for a fucking episode, but... Wow. Yeah, Strictly. I can't wait. Guys, one more time, Pete Wick, Strictly Come Dancing. The Glitter Ball. Um, I imagine that's probably the only round of applause I'm going to get throughout the entire fucking show, so... Thank um, you so much for listening. Yes, go on. We love you. For this very special episode of Staying Relevant uh, with two, two best friends, uh, with one ballroom dancer extraordinaire and his uh, little mate Sam. See what no, you've done yeah, 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 yeah. You've done it to me all year. We've got one superstar dance DJ and his little carry on friend Sam here who just wants him to do well. Uh, but thank you so much for listening. And by the way, this is just the beginning. We're going to have Strictly updates for you every single week. I am going to take you to him. So that'll be one week of updates. No, no I am also going to take you to his training as well. So we're going to see Stop that. Promising things. We're going to find out how that goes. We're going to get his partner on as well. There's so much to do, so little Part time. We don't know. We haven't asked him because we don't know who he is. But so we don't know. He might not be available yet, but we don't know. He might not and, be available and, yet. And it's just going to be an amazing, as a community, we are going to throw our ourselves into this behind Pete Wick. So don't worry, Pete, we're all there with you. We love you so much. Come on, Staying Relevant. Staying Relevant was an Insanity Studios production.